Overall, there's not a lot of problems with this first generation Nissan Versa. Interestingly enough, there's nothing going on inside the cab, like window switches or heater controls or anything like that. Everything going on is under the hood or underneath the vehicle. Let's get into it. If you need parts for this car or other vehicles, make sure you click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. Now, under the hood, number one, we're going to be talking about the engine mounts. There's two mounts right here. This is the front engine mount down here, and then this is the upper engine mount, which sometimes they also call these a dog bone mount, which it looks exactly like a dog bone. And the sensation you're going to get when these are bad are the vehicle just vibrating a lot when the vehicle is stopped. So if you're sitting at a stop sign or a light and you notice like the steering wheel shaking a little bit or just a vibration going on through the cab of the vehicle, it's because these bushings have worn out and you're getting the vibrations from the engine going out throughout the cab. Obviously this one has been replaced before so it's a pretty common issue and then this one down below is also pretty common. Number two, the coils. Now they're underneath this cover, so I'm going to pull this off real quick and we'll talk about it. It's located right here, and this being a four-cylinder engine, there's four of them. That one's the only one you can see from up top. You're going to have to remove the intake to access the other ones. What that looks like is very similar to this. This is from another vehicle, but the computer sends a signal to the coil which sends a spark signal down to the spark plug, which is going to ignite your fuel. So when this fails, you're not going to get a spark. It's going to cause the engine to run rough. You're going to get a misfire. You're going to get a check engine light that's flashing with a code P0300. That's it for under the hood. Let's go underneath. Number three, the front coil springs. You may notice that the vehicle is sitting and it seems like it's sagging from one side to the other or while you're going down the road, you may hear a crunching noise, whether you're turning or going over a little bumps. And it's probably due to the front coil springs being cracked. The main reason why this happens is there's a protective coating on the coil spring itself. It may rub off and rust will get in there and build up and eventually it's gonna cause the spring to crack. The easiest way to replace the spring is with the spring and strut assembly complete. Otherwise, if you pull it out, you're going to have to have a special spring compressor to compress the spring, and it's a lot more headaches than just replacing the whole thing as an assembly. Moving on to number four, the front wheel bearings. You may notice while you're going down the road that you hear either a helicopter type noise or even an airplane. And while you're driving, if you shift lanes or turn the wheel slightly in one direction or another, it may get louder or quieter. Most of the time that's coming from the wheel bearings themselves. You may also notice some play issues if you raise the vehicle up, grab the tire at the top and the bottom and give it a shake back and forth. If you feel some play in there, most likely that's from the wheel bearing. So you're either going to get play or you're going to get noise coming from wheel bearings. They're fairly easy to replace. You have to take the brakes off, take the rotor off, and there's some bolts underneath there. Take the old one off, put the new one on, you'll be good to go. And the last common problem we're going to talk about, number five, is the lower control arms. The lower control arms, the symptoms you're probably going to have is pretty minimal. You may notice a little bit of noise going over bumps. There could be something wrong with the ball joint. It could be starting to loosen up, which you can check those with a pry bar. Just get in under here. Just give it a pry. See if there's any play in there. And that seems pretty good. Sometimes you can give it a tire shake and it may mimic what a wheel bearing would feel like if you see any play there while you're shaking the wheel. And also the bushings themselves. The bushings, you're going to notice they're going to be moving if you pry in there or even this bushing over here. Sometimes they call this a hockey puck bushing just because it looks like a hockey puck. And you can get in there and pry that and see if that's separated. If it's separated, it may be giving you a clunking sensation, maybe rubbing metal on metal, and it may be pretty obvious. The easiest thing to do is replace the entire control arm. 
When you're doing that, you are going to need an alignment because there is going to be some slight adjustments needed afterwards. Those are the top five problems that we have found with this first generation Nissan Versa. Overall, not that bad. If you need parts for your vehicle, make sure you click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Overall, there's not a lot of problems with this first generation Nissan Versa. <coughs> Sorry. Or while you're going down the road, <coughs> do it again. Ready? <clears throat> oh, everyone's wicked loud now. What was I saying?